I'm here with Roger Marolt. Um, there are many names in the Valley of Aspen that, that really sort of uh, capture the spirit and the Marolt clan is, is uh, a big one. And so I feel privileged to have one of the Marolts here. So we have Roger. And um, one of the things that I was starting with was having everybody tell their story of how they got to Aspen. But since you were sort of born there, Maybe you can give us a little bit of a history of the Merle family into the Valley of Aspen. Oh, sure. Yeah. Well, first of all, I'd just like to say thank you for having me here. I, I, uh, your book is wonderful, and I, uh, and I just appreciate your spirit and your love for the town and uh, just trying to tell its story through the people you know. And uh, I think that's really cool. So thank you. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Uh, like you said, I was born in Aspen, so I don't really remember how I got here, but I can, you know, I guess how I got here. But uh, our family here uh, stems back to the late 1800s, and we came from Slovenia, and that's, uh, uh, they, they came over here during the Silver Rush, and they were, they were not miners. My great-grandfather owned a saloon called the Frank Marolt Saloon, and it was right across from where City Market is today. There are some townhomes there, and so uh, then my then my grandfather he uh, was born here, and he and his brothers were ranchers. They uh, you know the silver went bust, and they wanted to stay apparently, so they figured out that ranching was the best way to do that. So their their ranch uh, was what is today the Aspen Golf Course the Merolt open space, the hospital land, uh, the school district land, and uh, the land across the street uh, from the schools, which is the Moore property now. That was their ranch. And and they held that and started to sell it off piecemeal, starting with the Great Depression. And um, and then, then the federal grazing laws changed and what the way the way ranching worked in Aspen in those days is that you would you would uh, summer your cattle up on Forest Service property and they would feed there, and you would use your land down in Aspen to grow hay so that you could feed them for the winter. So you'd get them fat up on federal lands and you'd bring them down in the winter and you'd feed them the hay you grew in the summer. And I can't remember what year it was, but but they changed the federal laws so that my my grandpa and his brothers could no longer uh, it was they it was it was not allowed to to graze on uh, U.S. Forest Service land, and so you couldn't sustain a cattle ranching operation um, under those parameters. So they started to grow potatoes and tried to do make a living doing that, and they did for a little while, but then. They just thought they'd they'd sell it. So the last the last piece of the Merolt property that was sold was uh, to a guy named Wally Mills in probably the mid '50s, and that became the Aspen Golf Course eventually. Oh wow! Yeah, which I think yeah. we were your neighbors when when we first moved to Aspen. We were like three houses down on Benita Drive from you guys. I think. yeah yeah. You're in that white house with a nice white fence around it and everything. Yep, yeah, that's that's, that's home. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore, uh, but it was you know for all my years growing up. So were were you and all your siblings in that house? Yeah, yeah, that's we were we were all we were all there. We were my sister and I were born in a little house over at the base of Shadow Mountain, and we we moved out there near the golf course when I was about I think I was seven. And okay. then, uh, so that, that, so for, for for the most part, that's what I remember is our family home growing up, and and my mother lived there until she passed away last spring. So uh, it was truly the family home. Wow, wow, that's great. Yeah, is it still in the family, or it is still in the family? But you know, unfortunately, the way economics are around here, uh, you know, there are four of us siblings in the valley and and none of us can afford to buy out the other three so uh it's up for sale which kind of uh, breaks my heart but it's an economic reality that uh, amongst many that we just have to deal with when we live in aspen wow 